This week is Teacher Appreciation Week. We are so excited to celebrate our amazing teachers, guidance counselors, child study team members, and all of our certificated staff who work tirelessly to educate and inspire our students throughout the year. This week is all about showing our gratitude and appreciation for everything that these individuals do. In this video, you will hear our administrators, our supervisors, and our students speak about everything that makes these individuals so special and why we are so grateful for them. So on behalf of the Dover Public Schools, let me be the first to thank you for all of your passion, your professionalism, and your dedication to our students. Most of the truly important work that is done is done by you, and you help our most important stakeholders, our students. We hope that you enjoy this very special tribute. Thank you. My name is Freddie Nunez. I'm the principal of Dover High School. Um, how did my teaching experience help me? I taught for eight years um, in, a, in schools of very diverse backgrounds. And so for me, coming to Dover with that experience really gives me a great perspective of the students that we have in the school and how to best meet their needs. Um, and it also gives me an understanding of what it means to be in the classroom. And I always keep that perspective in focus when um, working with faculty, staff, and students. I taught mathematics and social studies uh, many, many years ago. Um, and for, for thinking back to that time, why I appreciate teachers is the work that we put in, not only academically, but also the social and emotional piece, that it's, it's very much needed as we're developing the whole student. One of the, the biggest things that I took away from teaching in the classroom is really knowing and listening to teachers and what they need and that's one of the things I really try to do as an administrator in the district is listen to the needs of the teachers try to get them you know do the best I can to get them the resources and the things that they need and the time to do the things that they need. Being a teacher made me realize all the hard work, dedication, time, compassion, love, what it goes into really caring for children. The type of mind that it takes to be a teacher is so complex because you have to be thinking 15 different ways at one time and there's only a select group of people that can do it, even if they think they can. They do it all, um, not just stuff that's written on paper that people think is the roles and responsibilities, but the things that are not on paper. Uh, they wear many hats inside this building. They're not just in there delivering instruction. They are caring for children every day before they even come to school. They care for children after school. Um, they are also, you know, uh, therapists. They are managers, they're party planners, um, they're confidants, they're friends. You are a teacher, you are a parent, you are um, a chef. It's no longer about teaching the content. It's teaching the content, teaching social emotional skills, um, doing behavior and discipline and, you know, um, providing interventions. In some cases, working with students who, who don't speak the language and finding ways around that to communicate with them. The teachers are so, doing so many things on a daily basis in those classrooms. You don't realize how many hats you wear throughout the day and the constant change of uh, moods that students can be in is really challenging and uh, it's, it's a lot harder than people think. The role of the teacher is really a selfless one um, and when you make a decision to become a teacher you know that that's a part of it and as a teacher um, I, you work selflessly to provide for your students and to make sure that their needs are met, not only academically, but also socially and emotionally. And it's a lot on teachers uh, because when you are a teacher through and through, teaching never leaves you. So you could be at a walk with your family at a park and see something interesting. And right away, your first thought may be, I should bring this into my class because they, they'd love to learn about it. And that is one of the fond memories I have as a teacher is just being out with, with my family or with my friends and bringing some of the world into my classroom. So I was a business teacher for about 14 years before becoming an administrator. And 
my appreciation there is the amount of real world items that come into play that teachers bring into every subject area. Teachers have the ability to really make an impact and I see that firsthand when you go places outside of the classroom like the grocery store um, where you see students finding a former teacher and taking the time to really reach out. Uh, I was at an amusement park over the summer and I had some students that probably I had seven years ago um, and they came up to me and just expressed you know really what I did for them in the classroom and it wasn't about the math it was about treating them as human beings teaching them about respect and really about just being a powerful person that can affect the lives of others. Teachers put their students before anybody else. Um, they are the ones who are creating the world that we're going to be living in, all of us. I understand the challenges that teachers face in the classroom, but also the powerful impact that we can have on our students and their lives, both outside of academics um, and really helping them become individuals as they learn and grow. Teachers make so many sacrifices that we're not even aware of because they're doing this daily in their classroom behind closed doors. They literally wear their hearts on their sleeves and they are the support system for our children and families to ensure that they become those contributing members to our society. So we appreciate you teachers and thank you for all that you do. Teachers spend many hours developing plans and then executing them and then revising, which was a large part of my, my coaching style. At, at my last, my previous job, and also my appreciation for the amount of work that teachers do. Teachers work very hard every day. They are the ones that greet our students in the morning, work with them all day. They are the liaisons between our families and the school. The hours they work, the time they do work at home, the time that they spend after hours with clubs or family nights or any school functions, and the passion and the love that they give their students every single day. They are with their families, uh, their school families sometimes more than their regular families. So the passion, the love, the care, and the gratitude that they give to the school and students is just somewhat overwhelming. Every teacher in this building and that I've ever dealt with sees every student in their classroom as their own kid. There is nothing that separates the children at home from the children in their classroom. They care and give everything they have to each and every one of those students on a daily basis. Molding these minds into the future, you know, we'll find ourselves in a situation where we won't be able to be as successful without us as teachers, right? Um, we are uh, that second set of parents to all of our kids. They take so much time out of their day and they take care of kids that they, as if they were their own. I do appreciate. I appreciate every single one of them and I think that they should be appreciated because they they spend like eight, eight hours a day trying to teach students. I think if you ask any individual, anyone that you uh, encounter in life and say, tell me a teacher uh, who made a difference for you, you'll receive a response. There is someone in each person's experience who made a difference, showed them a new path, uh, let them know that they had an ability. I know if it wasn't for a teacher, in my example, I wouldn't be here today. It, 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 they make that much of a difference, and the interactions you have with them could really change the shape of what an individual goes through in, um, you know, throughout their lives. So, I mean, th what teachers do is, are, is, is extremely, not only essential, but impactful to the lives of our kids. If there's one teacher I will definitely thank, it would be Mr. Smith, my eighth grade teacher in school five in Patterson. Um, the reason I think of this teacher is because he was one of the few teachers that I can, early on in my life that I can remember, who really put in the time uh, to get to know who I was, um, not just in front of them, but what I brought to the table. Um, he understood my background, uh, the upbringing. Um, you know, I didn't come from a very traditional family. Um, and he understood that and he used those strengths to, to really uh, encourage me to, to take chances educationally. Um, and whenever anybody ever asks me, it's always Mr. Smith is the first person I think of. Mr. Nazaro, thank you so much for, for all the work that you did, all the time that you put forth, not only with me as an individual, but with everybody around us. The people that were here um, when you were here as students have our all our lives were touched by everything that you did and your legacy, I could truly say, that it carries over. I don't have a favorite teacher because I love every single kind of teacher. My favorite teacher is actually Ms. Matarazzo 
because this is actually my first year in GMT and in East Dover. So Miss Matarazzo really was a help for me to adjust to this place and feel welcome. I feel like she deserves a lot for being so helpful and so kind and so loving. I really adore her. My favorite teacher is Miss Haran because she was like a very good teacher to us. My favorite teacher is Mr. Kane and he is my favorite teacher because he really makes class very fun. Teachers are very much appreciated in this district. We could not be here as an organization without teachers. That's the end of the story. That's the bottom line, as they say. I appreciate my teachers uh, very much. Uh, I know what they put in. Uh, they're here early in the morning and they're leaving here late at night at times. Um, they reach out to me you know, after school on the weekends. It doesn't matter how much we do. No teachers are ever as fully appreciated as they should be. You deserve all the accolades. I believe that teachers need all the support that they can have. Uh, all support staff, teachers, child study team, speech, OT, PT, work really hard to help students learn and engage in their environment and with the curriculum. To all of our Dover Public School teachers, uh, thank you for your hard work and dedication to always putting our kids first in every decision you make. Um, without you guys, we wouldn't be able to have the success that we have, and we appreciate everything you do. Uh, once again, thank you for everything you've done for our kids. Stover teachers, we are proud of you. We support you. We know the challenges that you face in your classrooms and that you keep coming back every day. Dover is such a special place in my heart now that I've been here for a few years and some of you have been here way longer than me and you know how special our children are and our families. So we salute you. I thank you for what you do. I thank you for the time that you put in. I can't tell you enough uh, how I see your hard work on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, it, it doesn't go overlooked. I know that sometimes teaching could be a thankless job, but just know that I thank you every single minute of the day. Thank you so, so much for all that you do. I've been in Dover for, this is actually my 20th year, and I continue to be amazed by the efforts of all of our teachers and how well they work with all of our students. Your efforts are greatly appreciated. Thank you for all that you do. Your dedication and commitment are truly appreciated. Thank you to our, not only our teachers, but our um, child study team members, um, our case managers, our paraprofessionals, um, everybody out there who is an educator, um, from the secretarial staff that greets the students when they walk in the door, to the lunch help, to the custodians, the paraprofessionals, and more, especially our teachers for always being there for our students, um, for coming to work every day with, with a smile and working so hard. We just couldn't do it without you. So thank you very much. What you do each and every day makes a difference. Your impact will last a lifetime on these individuals and how they go out into the world and treat others as they continue to learn and grow. I have a lot of respect for what you do. I actually took my time and I wrote a poem that I would like to share with everyone. And it goes as follows. So this is my words of appreciation to every single one of you. Throughout the years at Dover High School, you have worked diligently to make a difference. From class to class, moving along the hallways, teaching students things that they will remember always. In the midst of changes, you have found a way. You have adapted in the midst of difficulties to provide Dover with the best education and to leave a legacy beyond expectation. Doing everything within your power, you sought out to serve communities making a difference in a child's life and impacting their future opportunities. Dover is not just a town, but a learning family that cares. Thank you for all your contributions to education, for making your job meaningful and bringing to life the students' dreams without hesitation. You are what it's all about. The seed that you plant in the students' lives they carry that forever. Hi, my name is Christian Rodriguez. 
Dear Academy Street School teachers, we'd just like to thank you all for your great service you've done for this school. You are all huge inspirations to all of us, watching you te teach like if, if it was nothing. You give us great amounts of confidence and you jolt our brains with power and energy. Thank you once again. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for everything that you do for our students, their families, and our entire school community. Dover High School, uh, teachers of the Dover Public School District, I sincerely thank you for the work, I mean the hard work and dedication that you put in every day um, to make sure that our students are getting a quality education. Uh, I know that sometimes it's rough, I know that it, sometimes we feel underappreciated, but I can tell you from the most sincerest part uh, from me to you, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week! I love you, thank you. Thank you. 